Fine. What could possibly go wrong? We are a okay. Are we okay? Are we? I don't know. We might be late. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, let's do this. Hey there, what do you say there? Hey there, hey there. what do you say there, world? <laughs> We are live once again. Hello. What is up, party people? What's up, everybody? I am Lewis, my wife, Michelle, my producer, Mike, and that's right. That's right. That's right, baby. I'm, I almost called you Justin Shannick. I have a chief named Justin Shannick in my fire department. Oh, Justin really? Sheeman from the green team is here. Hola, que pasa, hey. mi amigos? Dame un coqueta, por favor. <laughs> That's right. He's all with us today. Have Justin. you ever had a croqueta before? Are you kidding me? Go down to Los Olas Cafe, 6th Street, banging out some croquetas back on South uh, yes. South Beach. I don't know if it's still there. But yeah, I used, <laughs> I used to bang out some uh, croquetas all day. That's in, right, because you lived in Fort Lauderdale, right? I lived in South Beach on oh, 7th wow. Jefferson, and then I lived in Aventura. Yeah. What year was this? Oof, uh, way, um, way back in the day. 96, 97, I was 98. <laughs> yeah. I was I was the general manager of Deja Vu, which was on 20th and Collins. It was a strip club that was all nude. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah. And I was D okay. and I was DJing at a club named Amnesia. I don't know if it's still there, but yeah. I've heard of Amnesia. Yeah. Yeah. I've heard of anymore. that before. Wow, Justin. Wait, and then you were also a realtor, weren't you a realtor down here? Uh I got my license, but I never really got into it. But I I basically got into radio down there. I was in a I was on an underground radio station with DJ Khaled before he was a like big time wow, DJ. Oh nice. <laughs> okay. And so I was doing that. Um, it was Beach Radio. I think it was 93.7. And um, it was yeah, South Beach Radio. You could only hear it on South Beach. Um, okay. But it was okay. cool. Yeah. And general manager of a strip club and then DJing at, the, <laughs> at Club Amnesia. Justin dropping the resume, man. You're, we're going to learn a lot about Justin today. Uh, I promise that. <laughs> because he doesn't talk about himself enough on his recap. So we're going to ask you some questions, Justin. But first of all, Justin, you also work in radio right now, don't you? Kind of. Uh, I've been in radio. Yeah, I do. Uh, right now, I kind of edit. I, I do a lot of editing for people. Um, I'm I was a morning radio executive producer for 15 years for a bunch of different shows all across the country. Um, but, you know, I'm currently interviewing for some jobs, but the, the money is poop now. It used yeah. to be a lot better. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he is clearly a professional. He looks and sounds great. Thank, thank you very God much for your equipment. Yeah. <laughs> thank you very much. So, I, I kind of want to have like a quick on-air production meeting with Justin since he knows, you know, the Let's stuff. Go. All right. So, <laughs> you know, it's funny, Justin, because last season, uh, Mike, after episode two of our season, Mike approached us and he's like, I would love to do a podcast with you guys. I'm like, I have no idea how to do that. I'm down. <laughs> and the only person I'll do that with, because I know how talented he is, is Mike. And y'all could tell by the graphics on this show. All right. So he tells us, I want to do a show called Inside the Mind. Yeah. And I'm, the mind. Like, and I'm like, nah, it's too serious. It's called <laughs> Croquet Inside the Mind. <laughs> Inside the Mind. I'm like, nah, yeah. it's too serious. Well, so, I mean, um, in, in, in my defense, I really wanted to like dig in on your season because I was coming up to you after every episode and I was just picking your brain and I was just asking you this and ask you, like, my wife and I have been watching Amazing Race for like 14 years now. Wow. I wasn't, I didn't start from the beginning, but you know, and I'm not a super, super fan, but. I love the show and I love the concept and you guys being on it, I thought, what better way to, to know the beh behind the scenes, right? And I love the behind the yeah. scenes. So that yeah. was that was my defense inside the mind. Not a great name. Yeah. Go get that chat is much better. <laughs> <laughs> and see, our first season was super easy. Obviously, we had all the behind behind the scenes scoops. We had all the teams available. Season one was easy, easy for us. Season two has been a little bit rocky, I would say. And, you know, we started Justin by by trying to, I guess, trying to be like the same format as everybody else. Right. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we we were not off to a good start. Our viewership went way down. But as passionate as you are, we are, too. So we wanted to make a great product for these amazing fans. 
And I think we found something here of being very spontaneous and crazy and goofy while you're the out of control. <laughs> yeah. Out of control. <laughs> while, while you're the one that's, you know, uh, you know, the master, the master behind the uh, all about how to yeah. become a great racer. You know, we're, we're, we're a little bit more goofy, but how do you think our format is working? You saw a lot of product. I mean, for having you're the having a producer, I mean, you guys have the best producer of any show, hands down. I mean, I appreciate that. Even Rob has a podcast, like all of them, easily. Oh, it's not even close. And I'm not. I wouldn't. Be, I don't kiss ass. Like if you suck, I tell you you suck. <laughs> um, <laughs> but you guys have a great personality. You have awesome chemistry. Like the three of you are, uh, work well together, and you don't take yourselves too seriously. Whereas. Yeah. Our show is to try to like get all those inside details to show you why somebody like me, uh, who's you know one of the oldest players on my season, or wasn't in the best of shape as you could see when I was running with my man boobs bouncing in in Rio, um, and you know Diana, she was young and fresh out of college. Like, why why do we do so well? It was just all these little things. So I tried to like do show you like how the, everybody through every season does these little things that make big differences. And they actually do. I mean, if we look 100%. at they, this season, they really showcase Anna Lee doing all those little small things that even when I look back and she says things, I'm like, wow, I would have never thought about that, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. I should be. But hopefully they call us for all stars. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I hope so. Yeah, I think we have a good chance of being minorities and stuff. And we did we did good on our season. But so uh, this uh, what I do want to do more, I feel like as a show is involved our audience more. So I'm going to ask our audience a question. Do you like Ooh. our croqueta chat format of not going in order of the race, you know, because I feel like when they get to us, they've heard all the scoops. They've heard Justin, they've heard everybody else. They've heard Will and James. And I feel like when they get to us, maybe we could do something funnier and crazier. Yeah. But audience, I'm asking you guys, Need All right, I'm making a poll for you guys. I'm making oh, a poll. So, yeah. That's the producer, dude. Do you <laughs> see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Uh, do you, so, the, the number one thing you could do right now to increase uh, your your audience is yeah. have a consistent day and time that people can run. That's, that's the hardest part about us. And, and yeah. you do have a consistent day and time. You and you have over 120 viewers at a time awesome. on your show, Justin, which is incredible. But us being we have my a firefighter fire schedule. <laughs> yeah. Mike's uh, a, a dad with four kids. It's it's mostly my fault. It's mostly my fault. I I can't do it while I'm on shift. I just can't. Um, but okay. yeah, but but we'll, uh, you know we'll work with the audience. We have to. That's yeah. That's not gonna happen. But Ray Fletcher dropping a twenty piece. Thank you. Oh, so my man Thank Ray you. coming to bless y'all. <laughs> I Ray's love great. this dude. Ray, you are amazing, man. Uh, all right. So, oh, someone just said they love my voiceover videos. Can I get a clap? <laughs> oh, yeah, Can your voiceover is hilarious. No, you don't get a clap yet. You Aww. get a clap later. You know what? <laughs> I think we should start with, hmm, let me think here. All right, let's do this. Let's keep on talking about Justin here. So, Justin, so, I have a segment just for you, man. <laughs> Ready for this? Let's do it. Pretty, the rules are pretty self explanatory. <laughs> Mike, are you ready? <laughs> kind of. Oh, God. <laughs> what, what did you guys do? <laughs> All right. I, th I think we should start with this. As long as Mike is, I'm, I'm kind of. Yeah, yeah, know, go for it. Go for it. And, and this segment is called Just In or Just Out. I thought it was going to be about crying. I thought it was going to be something about crying. I figured you guys had all the clips of me crying. <laughs> all right, cool. I like that. I'll take that. I'll take that's that all day. It's All right. So just self-explanatory self -explanatory here. I'm going to ask okay. you some stuff, and you tell me, are you just in or just out? All right. All right. So first off, yes. the U-turn vote. What do you think of that? Are you just in or just out? Well, as a viewer, just in. As a racer, just out. Because I'm 100% the one target. You would have been screwed. <laughs> right, well, we'd have been the target. We still would have won. I mean, when I, I mean, nobody can eliminate us but us. Just remember that. Yes. If you, if you were lining up against us in All Stars, just say, "Hey, I want to be second place." Because there's no way anybody's gonna beat us. That's right. Humble Justin, ladies and gentlemen. All right. <laughs> How about one you wait? You didn't say the words though. Did you say just, just in or just out? I said as a, said as a, a viewer. Okay, yeah. as a okay, viewer, right. just in. As a racer, just out. Got it. How about 
one U-turn in a whole season, just in or just out? Just out, man. Just out. Give me more. Get, get the U-turns. We had three in our season. Ooh. And pe- people like, oh, U-turn would have killed you. We had three in our season. Nobody got to the board before us on all three of them. That's right. <laughs> Right. Humble Justin. Humble. Yeah, if, there's one, if there's one thing I don't need to be humble about, it's the Amazing Race. All right. <laughs> How about 90 minute episodes, Justin? Mm, just I was just going to say that. Yeah. I just like that. in. Give me 120. Yeah. No, just in. I love it. I hate and, that it ends at 11, though. Um, oh, anything. Gosh. Yeah. I wish we could do it earlier. Anything that you would change from the edit? I feel like I would love to see more non racing yeah. areas on TV. What do you think? Yeah, I definitely thought they would show a little bit more of that with the 90 minute episodes like the when people are not racing as opposed to the teams in airports talking to each other, the things that they do during downtime. They did show a little bit of like the uh, the people waiting from the roadblocks, the, you yeah. know, those type of those 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 times when you're sitting there waiting for a roadblock and you're there for a half hour, 45 minutes. There's stuff going on between the teams, and I you got to film some of that and show it. I love that. I wish they would show more of that, and it sucks that they don't do that YouTube stuff anymore. Do you guys remember, or, or did were you guys watching Survivor when they were doing Ponderosa episodes? Yeah, they, I, w- I I wish there would have been some like that for the amazing, or like we see way more behind the scenes. Yeah, they had this thing called Elimination Station. Um, oh man, I wish they, they would do that to that again. Yeah, I wish they would too. But again, um, CBS doesn't own Amazing Race; it's owned by Jerry Bruckheimer and Disney, yeah, so it. they only rent it. So they don't really care about it. That's why you yeah, always see Survivors and Big Brothers and all of those because they own those shows, so they care a lot. Here's one that I didn't write down that I just realized because you said how how it's owned by Disney. How about the Amazing Race, the seasons on Netflix? Are you just in or just out on those? All seasons? in, baby, all in. Hell, just in on that. Yes, you know. I mean, you know, of all of the uh, reality shows, Amazing Race will get like a thousand followers on social, or maybe yeah. two thousand if you're really famous. Yeah. Where you go on any of the other shows, it's ten thousand to fifty thousand instantly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but if you go on Netflix, that's that opens up hundred million new viewers that yes. could potentially become your followers. And for those of you who don't know, once you hit a certain number of followers, you can actually just start making a living mm-hmm. just being social, and oh, which, which everybody would want to do, re- whether you have that intention or not. If you have the opportunity to do that, just living your life and posting and getting paid for that, like what's really better than that? Yeah, I mean, what do we get? We got a free bed recently. <laughs> That's awesome. really? Yeah, it's yeah. A, uh, the a bed. The, yeah, new mattress. It was a thousand five hundred bucks. Shout out to Lowell. Um, you know, nice. it's a, a pretty stiff bed, not to my liking, but I've gotten used to it. But oh, I yeah, like I'm so good about it. I love it. A hundred percent. Get yours today for Christmas. <laughs> do you have an affiliate door. link? Where's the affiliate link? <laughs> <Cold right here. laughs> How about are you just in or just out? on our 15 minute departure departure times on our season mm. uh just out it's just that <laughs> like yeah For, as somebody who, who who at one point had a 16 hour lead on all the other teams like <laughs> yeah, let me let me run baby let me run like you know okay. so <laughs> so will you be just in or just out on equalizers and, and bunch points now you need equalizers or the race will be boring I mean, yeah. we would have won the race by two days if they didn't have equalizers. <laughs> we would have we would have finished and people would have been on leg <laughs> I'm not I'm not exaggerating. There was one time that we got on a flight at like seven in the morning and they couldn't get on a flight until like four in the afternoon or three in the <laughs> afternoon. And like we were done. It was just an error. But whatever. but you were still booking all your own flights or did they did they give the options and the clue? Um. Yeah, we didn't we didn't get too many of the the abilities to book our own flights. The the one that actually the the one that we really got an advantage on was the Travelocity one, because yeah. we booked it on the Travelocity app, and then the app broke like twenty minutes after that, and none of the other teams could could book, so they had to wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one. How about are you just in or just out on season thirty six South America edition? I'm all in. I'm all in. Listen, this season should show you. They went to two continents. They were they did two episodes in every country, but they showed different parts of the country, so it didn't really feel like the same country all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, and as much as it is a travel show, and it's great, they they always have beautiful places. 
um, it's a, it, this is a race. It's about the teams and how they work together and the competitions and that stuff. So I, I'm, I'm all in. I would okay. appreciate, I would appreciate if they visited, you know, more continents and things like that. I'm all out on the Canadian version where you don't leave Canada. Like, I don't even think that should be called the amazing we- race. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like you, you're just running around one country. It's just the race. Yeah, I, 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 we were in well, Toronto recently for a friend's wedding, and we were watching the Amazing Race Canada edition. And I'm just like, "Ouch!" It's like, not the same. It's at not. All. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, they're just working with a less budget. They're literally at a car dealership selling you a Chevy. I don't know what, and <laughs> talking about the details and the and the specs of the car. And I'm just like, "Ouch!" Well, season yeah. 36 is gonna go back to um to to driving again mostly driving no back to airports. self-drive yeah back to self-drive yeah that's one thing they didn't have on my season was self-drive at all no, good thing or bad thing first good thing it was a bad that's bad i mean for us i mean I for think, you guys for you guys i think i think self-drive would have helped us because um you know i was a boy scout i got orienteering merit badge like i used to teach driving like me and diana Man, what like, haven't you done just until you self-drive <laughs> you got to understand I, my brain is broken so i i get into things and i just like like go ham yeah, like, yeah i just have to learn as much as i can about it and then i just move on was it because you had little people on your season that you didn't have any self-driving no you want to know why it's because season 26 two people quit it's driving in the middle of the of the race and the, the the car dealer who was with them for 26 seasons said listen we're tired of it you're making our cars look like poop we don't want to we, we're not we're pulling our advertising so they pulled the advertising so they didn't do any self drives <laughs> That's right when he, he he does a season and boom, no more boom. car car winnings for cars first gone. place. Ouch, nope. ouch. All right, so talking about self drive, would you be? Are right, you got to be just in for one or in just out for the other? Okay. Would you be just in on having, let's say, two self driving legs in a season, or all self driving legs? Mm. I would rather two because I do think like. As a viewer, too, as a racer, all self-drive. Because uh, if you watch my season, the only time I got screwed was two cab drivers, one in in China and one in in, in New York. And without those, if we have a car, we win. Like So, yeah. But as a viewer, like, you want to have that drama with cabs. You want to have the ability to, like, have problems speaking to a cab driver who doesn't speak your language. You want to see that as a viewer. But as a racer, like, I want my keys. I want the car. I want to be in control. 100%. I agree with that. I you agree know, that. when you're in the car, it's also with Diana. So would you be the driver? Or would you be the navigator? Navigator, definitely. You're yeah. the navigator. Okay. Yeah. And then Diana takes that wrong turn that you tell them it's the next left <laughs> and they don't take the next left. <laughs> left. And then, then now you're going around in circles for <laughs> half an hour to an hour or something. And then. Hmm. Well, the arguments. Yeah, um, there's a lot more to self-driving too. There, there definitely is. It, you know, if she doesn't listen, obviously, <laughs> or if I tell her to go the wrong way, the, it could definitely lead to arguments, especially the way we talk to each other. Like she's a Philly girl, I'm a New York dude. We, when we talk, we just talk with an attitude. Never mind if we yell or actually get into an argument, like we did twice on the amazing twice on the amazing race. People, you know, think we did a lot more twice. Um, <laughs> they just showed every second of it. <laughs> and how many times did you cry? <laughs> they showed probably three or four. What they didn't show is probably three or four other times. So yeah, I cried a lot. And does she drive stick? Yeah, we well she didn't before, but we uh, my friend had a Jeep, uh, so I traded our car for his car for like three weeks, and we just drove around. Uh, nice. We went. We made sure we go up hills. Like up hills with a stick is the hardest thing to do. Uh, yes. Stopping on a hill and then getting started again without hitting the car behind you. So we did a lot of that until everybody was confident enough that you know we could do it easily. You know, we parallel parked. We tr- we practiced all of that on back roads that didn't have street signs. We practiced. We went to a different state and did like navigations. We did a bunch of stuff to to kind of prepare. Love nice, nice. All right. I think Enough Lewis would say you, going. Custody. Lewis would say going in reverse <laughs> is the hardest thing of driving a stick shift car, right? Lewis? Finding Look, the R. <laughs> finding the R. People just don't understand that I drive fine stick shift. Okay. <laughs> finding the reverse was the hard part. But yeah, hey. aren't aren't fire trucks stick? 
<laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Automatic as hell. Thank <laughs> God. Imagine <laughs> people not knowing how to drive stick driving us. Do you drive the fire truck though, fire Lewis? Truck. Um, I could. Um, in my department, okay. current department, um, I am certified to drive a fire truck, the big one, yes. I drive the rescue ambulance all the time. Uh, but in my department, you have specific positions for the driver operator and the pump operator, which is, uh, yeah, not my, not my current job. But now, uh -oh. let's move on. Let's, find, let's talk about the race, finally. Let's do it. Let's, let's recap it. how we recap the Amazing Race, Episode 10. And we're going to do it by having the most popular segment in the history of radio TV podcast. Wait, wait, Lewis. Sorry, sorry. I'm gonna I have to interrupt you because this is good. We did a we did a poll. Should we keep the show how we're doing it or should we not? And I I hate to interrupt you, but I think we should we should see this. All right, go ahead and show me. One hundred percent say we are keeping the show as is. One hundred percent. Which means we go to our like, even though this is the most um, popular segment in the history of you know all visual media, okay. it's, not even, shows, right? it's not even the most popular <laughs> show. It's not going to be mine. But no, the most popular segment of Croqueta Chat is by far Michelle's memory card. People <laughs> talk about that all the time. They laugh about that all the time. All the time. I, I give, it's okay. Dreams, I love everywhere. seeing my wife successful. I enjoy her being successful. She has the most popular segment of the show. But, more, <laughs> but going to my segment now, which is called My Mind is Racing! I put it up. I put the volume up. Oh, you did it on purpose? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank God I didn't get the butt in the face. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. You forgot the butt in the face, Lewis. <laughs> <Shoot me. laughs> All right. I think that's how Justin dances, oh. right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're going to talk about that in a second. All right. Let's talk about some amazing things about this episode that has my mind racing. So, Justin, yes, these sir. are, man, I got a lot of a lot of topics here. One, two, three, four Ooh. different topics. Ooh. And I titled these topics differently. And you have to pick one topic to okay. talk about. First topic is, huh? Mike With music. music. Mike music. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Come on, oh, Mike. Here we go. He's over to editing. I was looking. I was looking up uh, some of the uh, MTV. The was it the Grind MTV? Was it MTV? Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> oh, you want All right. Video? Next topic is. Ugh. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I thought that was the first topic. <laughs> the first topic was huh. Oh. Second topic was. Ugh. Third topic is. Ew. Oh my god. <laughs> And then last topic. Oh, there's four topics. For today is. <laughs> <laughs> so these are the four topics. Huh? Uh. <laughs> All right. Justin, go ahead and pick one, please. Give me some <laughs> ew. <laughs> ew. <laughs> Ugh, you guys ready for this? Mm -hmm. There was pee pee in the toilet. Oh, I've heard, Joel I've and heard Garrett's that. toilet had pee pee in it. That's gross. That's pretty <laughs> gross. I think he got it in his arm too. That's what it said. was on his arm, and that is pretty <laughs> gross. So let's talk about some other things that were pretty gross <laughs> in the history of the Amazing Race, Oofa. other than pee pee. And it's usually, um. I want to say eating tasks are usually the grossest things that yes. yeah. pop into mind. All right. So one thing is the century old egg from season 26. 
Yeah, pretty disgusting. How, is it really a century old? Of course no. not, right? No, Why do no. they call it that? Uh, it is like a ancient uh, tradition uh, that goes back a hundred years. It, it's it, it looks disgusting. Another nasty thing that's very ugh that's happened on the race before is in season seven they had to eat four pounds of meat each. Yes, that which is... was Boston Rob's yes. best move ever in the history of Amazing Race. Yes, he convinced all the other teams to get a penalty, but he did the penalty first and then convinced everybody else, which is Hoopa. dude plays, dude plays good, but they for sure can't do that anymore, Justin. There's a lot of vegans and vegetarians that go on the show now. That's that's not their fault. They don't have but, to bend their will for a vegan. But they don't, I feel like that's really <laughs> gone away. Cause even even on the challenge, uh Tori, that was the way of Tori uh getting out of some of the drinking nasty stuff because it had meat in it and she's a she's a vegan. I'm so, vegetarian. I, 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 I dive into a cow. Yeah, raw. but you know how it is. Some people are, no, that's what I believe in. I can't do that's that. Your passion. That's your so passion. I feel yeah, like when you're on the amazing like, race, you do what you got to do. But if that's but, your passion, then you choose that over the race, then you shouldn't be on the race. But just I feel like, like if, you sh if you're not going to cut your hair for a million dollars, the thing like 100% grows back, you don't deserve to be on the race, Rachel. <laughs> it's a uh, joke, it Michelle. <laughs> we said that joke before. It. I will 100% cut my hair no, for a million have. dollars. No, no, I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. You guys caught me. You guys caught me. Um, <laughs> now, thinking about season five, my ox is broken when Colin was in there. That's a whole bunch of ox poop in there as well that's also pretty gross but it's yeah it's actually very clean ox poop yes you know because they eat a very thing. clean diet same thing with, with cows they eat a very clean diet of really specific things that their poop is really clean but it's so still justin your poop must be very clean too huh? my poop is very regular four nice. times a day thank you <laughs> four times a day Yes, that's just vegetarian in. status, baby. <laughs> oh, it's just oh. out four times a day. Just out. <laughs> Mike, drop the music. <laughs> okay, here we go. So we did. It. Ugh. Justin, we got. Huh? Ugh. And. Psh. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely need a psh right now. All right, next topic is. Psh. <laughs> so oh gosh what is this we have a special clip because justin is a very uh talented person right <laughs> and justin has mentioned that he's been on mtv's the grind well let me start off by saying this he says he's a professional dancer right was a professional and, oh, was a professional dancer <laughs> like all right and then the only thing that he's ever mentioned was mtv's the grind mm -hmm. and then i started watching mtv's the grind i got some footage on that i can't find justin anywhere but uh -huh. when he said he's a professional dancer because he's been on mtv's the grind i was like Psh. That's a bunch of BS. Mike, can you play that footage of MTV's The Grind while we talk about this? Oh, get out of here. <laughs> that's the Summer Beach House, okay? So that's not even in the studio. That's the Summer Beach I just sent you a clip of me and Biggie on The Grind if you want to see it. All right, go All for right. it. So you weren't, you weren't in this one? <laughs> no, I did not go to the but, Summer Beach House. I never but, got invited. But you say you were a professional dancer because you've been on the show. I was just like very like about it because this is not professional dancing. <laughs> but then I just want to dance for a little bit. All right. Okay, well, okay, here we go. It's supposed to be the club. They're supposed to dance like you're in a club. But you okay. do get solos. And you'll see when people get solos, they bust out their 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 moves that got them <laughs> oh, on the show. Man. That's that's when they, that's when people want to shine. There's <laughs> Yeah. Right now. This is supposed to be. Oh, look at that guy. Oh. There's, there's, that Justin? There it is. That's me back in the day. <laughs> now I look closer, more closer to this dude. Than <laughs> but then we find out pre-show more about just more about Justin's dance resume, and we find out that Justin's been on multiple music videos, including the Mariah Carey song. What is it called, Justin? I just Fantasy. Da -da 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 -da. Fantasy. Mike, do you have that clip rendered? Uh, I think I do. Ready? Oh, 
that one hand? Are you kidding me? It just, it, it's, <laughs> We're totally getting demonetized oh, for that one, guys. 100%. Oh, that is going to be a live exclusive. Or we just leave it on. Who cares? We don't get paid $4. <laughs> yeah, it's not like the commercials actually pay you. It's the super ads. Mariah Carey is gonna get an extra twelve cents for that one, guys. Congrats, <laughs> and that was uh, that was just in the red hat. If you see him back there, now that is all right. All right, you got me there with that resume, and you have more in your resume, so it's no longer. Psh, Tell, tell everybody about your resume. What else you got there? Uh, all right. Well, the most famous one is Michael Jackson, Mariah Carey, Black Street, SWV. Uh, there was a Jamaican girl, Patra. Um, I was in pretty much every member of the Wu-Tang video. I was in, um, <sighs> we got um, Lost Boys, um, Aaliyah, Little Kim. Um, Not yeah. bad. Not uh, bad. You have a, a pretty locked. deep resume. Yeah. I think I think maybe Michelle still beats you with how many artists she's Oh, my God. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, so you, if I. You, you see me in a roadblock. And it's a dance one. Who's yeah. coming out first, you or me? Oh, you're 100 percent gonna be a better dancer than I am, for sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna just say like I can go up against professional dancers. Like you're a professional dancer. <laughs> I was a dancer. 25 30 years ago <laughs> i've seen michelle michelle used to dance for a show called sabado gigante a very famous show down here she used to learn choreography for many different artists that used to go on the show an artist called out i mean an artist um a dancer called out michelle literally learned a choreography to a whole song two minutes before the show and she went on that yeah. stage well, maybe not and performed <laughs> it well i thought she told me two minutes before but performed it live and killed it like she and then i go on the amazing race the only time where i have to compete with her we do dance task the pressure's on me dude <laughs> to learn yeah. when i did that chance and when i did that dance in jordan on my second try justin that's the most proud i've ever felt like <laughs> in my life because that dance in jordan was insane mike Cue the music, please. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, I'm, I'm on the comment section. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> that leaves two topics, Justin. Let's do it. Huh? Or. Uh, Definitely. Uh, uh. <laughs> so, <laughs> when I saw this on this week's episode, I was just like, oh, why? And we see our girl, Ashley. At the roadblock, taking Ooh. her time once again. And uh, it hurts because she did the same thing when she had to balance stuff on her head. I, I don't remember too much of the of the lotus. <laughs> she took her time too much of the lotus flower, but you know, it, it just shows the the how Anna Lee got ahead. Ashley stayed behind. She was just too in too much in her head. She wanted to be too detailed, and you have to let the judge decide. When I saw her do that, they didn't catch back up. They couldn't. They couldn't get um, uh, not save themselves as episodes. So I was like, Ugh. It, yeah. I mean, after after Annalie went in there and did it in three point two minutes, uh, everybody else turned and looked and was like, oh, we don't have to be that detailed, mm -hmm. except Ashley. She mm -hmm. just kept going with the detail while everybody else was like, oh, let's just stop putting flowers in. Let's put yep. flowers in, put the flowers in, and then just fill in the little gaps. That's it. And she she had the most beautiful one, but because she had the most beautiful one, they lost. Yeah, yeah. And another thing that had me very ugh this episode was the three teams following each other at the end, right? <laughs> and um, I forgot who it was. Who was the original team that got the or original directions? Was it Robin Corey? Mm-hmm. So they, Stephen and Lee, knowing that, hey, another team has directions, we got to make sure if we're, you're not going to beat them in a foot race, get your own directions and then go to the pit stop, do what Joe and Garrett did. And I guess I understand um, John and uh, John and Greg a little bit because because, um, you know, they could they could beat them in a foot race. But yeah. still, just get your own directions and finish strong. I can't I, I'm not even exaggerating. I can't think of one time we followed any team. Mm. I, I don't trust anybody. I, I don't trust anybody. I'm yeah, not going to, you're not better at getting directions than me. You're not better at, you know, finding the place than me. So why not just trust myself? And if I'm going to lose the race, I want to lose because of something I did, not because of something uh, you did and I chose to follow you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Never, I, never my mindset. Yeah. What was the noise that you were making? 
What? What was the ugh. noise you were making for? Ugh. Ugh. Like why? Ugh. I had a little ugh noise when Annalie was like, "Close the door of the bus. Close it." I wish they would. This is the subway. That was great. We gotta leave them. <laughs> and then Rob and Corey came along and saved the day for them. Rob and Corey are so nice. They're There's incredible. two two teams that I was waiting for first place, and it was Todd and Ashley. And especially Rob and Corey, because yeah. I am going for Rob and Corey. Yeah, they're I'm still waiting for it. Rob and Corey have taken Margie and Luke's place. So Margie and Luke ever hope to get back on an All Stars? It's no chance. Uh, the next All Stars will hundred percent have Rob and Corey if they don't win. Yeah, but they already did three seasons, so I feel like three yeah. is like the max you should go on. Well, for the Amazing Race, yeah. I mean, yeah, and and uh, the, of all the teams that have done three seasons, um, the green team still has more wins than any team that's run three seasons, by the way. All right, so go ahead. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so about Robin Corey. That was that, the, the next, the last topic in my mind is racing is, huh? huh? So I'm not going to bash their use of the Express Pass. It was wrong. Uh, it's okay. I think both tasks. Both tasks. Justin has no filter. Look, both tasks. No filter were, needed on this one. It's just 10, categorically minutes. wrong. Don't use it on a. Don't use it on the first task. Don't use it on a roadblock. But detours wait, are, detours are always longer. Before. You've talked about it before that a roadblock is not a bad idea because only one person is doing it. Where you have oh. two heads on the other detour. But no, then I, I also heard detours are usually longer in time. Detours are longer time wise, but they're because they're designed for two people to do. Roadblocks are designed for one person to do, so they're designed to be shorter. They're, but if you don't have that skill set, sure, if it's a dancing challenge, if it's a singing challenge, you can't do that. But if it's just put this together, I don't care who you are, you can put it together. And, you know, even if they take 10 minutes and you take 15, you get to the last task, use your thing, boom, you're guaranteed first place. I really enjoy how decisive they were. At least they were good on that. Where Morgan, we didn't see that from Morgan and Lena. You know, Rob and Corey, they're like, "Hey, let's just use it, boom, right now, and let's go." So I, I don't, I don't mind it for that. I just think also, once again, Anna Lee making other teams look bad because Anna Lee finishes so fast. It's Rob and Corey, are like, are you serious? She's right behind us. So <laughs> if it wasn't for Anna Lee going so fast, I think people would have been a little bit easier on their use of the Express this is Pass. True. Yeah, probably. I mean, they literally went to the right after using the express pass, went to the next task and got passed. They didn't even like make one task. They didn't get to the next task before our team passed them. Yeah. Yeah. They had some mistakes. Another thing that had me, huh, is like they were looking for the main entrance. Clearly, like that building in the front with the gold doors and the main <laughs> street is the main entrance. So just try some more doors when you're trying to walk in. Mm. Like I, in my finale, where before we got into the piano, before we got to the arena, we used the wrong door. We we I was just like, we, we couldn't find the main the entrance that they were telling us in the street because there's two levels. There was like a top level and more of an underground level. And we literally walked in through the through a side door that was open. I'm we like, tried and we every came in single backstage. Door. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But they they had the right door that left me huh. So they walked around the whole building. Um, another thing that left me like very huh is Robin Corey, they're great guys, but don't help Anna Lee. Mm -hmm. that, that was a perfect mm -hmm. spot to just mm -hmm. leave Anna Lee behind. Anna Lee and her dad. Just they're just, just oh, so nice. They're <laughs> such great-hearted people, but that was a perfect chance to leave them. Yeah, uh, I said this on our show. It, if if they don't use the express pass, Steve and Anna Lee go home. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, it you, I think yeah. you have it right. Yeah. They, would have was, got a, they would have got a penalty. When I was watching the episode, though, I was thinking maybe because I do think Anna Lee is pretty bright, right? So I think that she, if she would have seen them walk up to the bus and then the doors close and then they would have been like, oh, we don't need to go on the bus. She might have been like, wait, why are we on the bus and read the clue? I don't know. I was thinking I maybe so. she would have been like, yeah, she, I think yeah. she would have been celebrating. Yeah. She'd yeah. like, yeah, yeah. And they'd have been like, they kept telling the, <laughs> they kept telling the driver, close the door, close the door. We need uh, to you go. Might be right. You might be right. That's yeah. the right yeah. mentality. That's the right mentality to have. For anybody hating on that is dumb. You're in a race. You don't want the other team to catch up. Close the yeah. door. She's not being like, that's what you're supposed to do. That is, that's what you're supposed to do. If you don't do that, you're a bad racer. If you yeah. don't, you don't tell your cab driver to hurry up you're a bad racer yeah yeah and then i know joey talked about this in, in your podcast he said that he wasn't sure if that would have been a penalty you're taking a bus if the clue says take the subway to your next location 
I'm not getting on any yeah. other mode of transportation, period. Mm-hmm. I'm not getting on a taxi. I'm not getting on a bus. I am walking my ass to the subway because I don't want a penalty. You're supposed to, yes. Running. Yeah, <laughs> or running my Hopefully ass. running, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I always I, I always tell Lewis as I'm watching the race, why aren't they running? And then when we finally did the race, I was like, give me a second to breathe, please. Can we walk? Come on, dad. <laughs> come on. Come on, come dad. On, dad. <laughs> I want to say one more thing before I forget. Um, I just want to give some congrats to Joel and Garrett this episode. It, it It's great to see movement in the standings. Congrats to Joel and Garrett for getting the first first place to him. This is incredible. Mm-hmm. Like, that joy of getting that first first place is like no other. And that joy that I saw from their faces, absolutely <laughs> love. They're great guys. Shout out to them. That's what I want to say. I, I love how, so when we were um, ranking them at the beginning of the season, Lewis was like, these two guys... I want to have a beer with them, but yeah. they're not going anywhere. So now you could have a beer and enjoy them getting top four so far. <laughs> I picked them to be in the top three. <laughs> you picked Joel and Gary to be in top three? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Who are your other top three? Talk about those. Mm, uh, <laughs> uh, no, it's uh, Joel and Gavin, Rob and Corey, who are okay. still in it. Okay. That's and uh, the third one um, was, um, who's still in it too? Um not Stephen and Ali. Is it Todd uh, Nashley? Yeah, not Todd Nashley, not Stephen and Ali, not Greg and John. Um, yeah, yeah. So that's it. it. That's everything. <laughs> that's, all <I> <laughs> that's all you got. <laughs> no, there's one more team. Greg and John. Steve, we uh, have Stephen Morgan and Ali. No, Robin and Chelsea. No, what are you talking no, about? No, no. Yeah. Greg and I'm John. Going... Stephen and Ali. The people who are still still yes. in. Yes. Um, uh, we've got. Are oh, you talking about so Robin Corey? Corey. Joel and, and Joel and Garrett. That's four. Rob and Corey, Joel and Garrett, and Todd and Ashley. You're right. Uh, it was Todd and Ashley. There you Ashley. go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Sorry. It was Todd and Ashley. Well, I had the honor of choosing <laughs> the, the top three worst teams this season. <laughs> I think yeah, I Yeah, Mike chose picked probably Alex, the worst picks. Alex in and history. Sheridan. Oh, I my picked. God. <laughs> Joe and Ian, I picked. Oh, man. It was bad. Jocelyn and Jocelyn and Vic. Yeah, you were looking right. good Justin for the first two episodes, and then they were looking great. They were looking great. I was a big curse. I was a big curse. It, you had the, your four teams that you picked literally went out. Yeah, last was, in that it was, order. It was yeah. top four. Top four losers. <laughs> <laughs> top four losers. Uh, Are you ready? Oh wait, man. Uh oh. I'm not sure if I'm ready. I'm a little nervous. I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> You're, babe, you got this. Okay. This is the segment that people love the most. Babe, you're fine. You, you, you got this. You got this. Okay. I and, got this. And you work hard for this, and you, you're going to do great. Done. 125 gigs. Let's go. Hopefully, my memory card is good. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is my memory card segment, but mine only has 125. <laughs> um, so basically, I look back at the episode. I find some of my favorite moments. And my first one is actually I love seeing people enjoy the race and like really take it in. And I saw this clip and it made me laugh. It made me smile. So Mike, play that first clip. Okay, <laughs> can can, can you love- play that one more time? Like, wait, hold on a second. I love. First of all, when you skydive, I've I, I've gone skydiving I've done, before. I'm so scared. Lewis hasn't gone yet. Never been it's, skydiving. It, whoever hasn't, this is one of the best things to ever do in your life. I'm not sure. And not sure it, about that. Yes. <laughs> when you free fall, you get it fills you up inside or justin i see you mm. nodding oh i went in miami it like that's up, where right? i first went i yes. right over right over the alligators just, and then you land in a field insane <laughs> it's such a surreal experience and then on top of that your face is being pulled from every single side so it was so funny to see Corey saying i love the amazing race <laughs> and then his giggle at the end his eyes were closed 
<laughs> no, uh, it's like a kid op- like just being so excited about I don't know Christmas presents or something. Just like yeah, it's yes. so great. All right. So here's my theory on this. Okay. This is the closest thing that you can experience uh I, that's to a to like finishing insects. Like that that <laughs> that that experience, right? <laughs> so like the way that he did that almost made me feel like he's a virgin. Like that was his first time. <laughs> that literally is like the same exact emotion he would have after the first time. That giggle, that like, <laughs> that's the same exact he would have if that was. So I, here's my theory. He's a virgin and that was his first experience with like a real like. Oh. <laughs> I cannot see this clip the same now. <laughs> I did it. He's like, I Cor- just, I just had sex for the first Corey's, time. I'm Corey's too good looking not to get laid, bro. I think he's just too sweet. He might be one of those oh. people like, I just want to wait to get married to you. Yeah, could be. Listen, I, uh, listen, you're the tough New York guy, but there's ladies out there that like the sweet guy. I, oh, no, of course. I'm no, I'm. I have no doubt. Girls want to be with him, but he might. Or maybe be. it's a personal choice. <laughs> <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> What's your next video? I Michelle? can't believe we took it there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So since Lewis yells at me whenever I don't do I'm glad Justin overs. saved that for our podcast. I appreciate that. I got dude. you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Last week, Lewis yelled at me for not doing voiceovers, and he wanted me to do the I love, rawr, I love the bears. Voice-over. So this is my next voiceover where you can hear me. Can I just throw it? <laughs> Nicely done, Smy. It was such a blast. Slam it. <laughs> yeah. Slam. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here. And of course, we do this not to get flagged on YouTube. That was the original. And we already played 20 seconds of Mariah Carey. So yeah, you're definitely getting matter. flagged. <laughs> but it's okay. That was great. That yeah, was great. So, um... Just the sound effects is what like gets me. We, we would have killed it in the, what is it called? Flossing? <laughs> the flossing challenge? The flossing challenge. Wait, wait. It's called flossing, right? Where you have to. Is it called flossing? Did I say the wrong word? The when dance? You, when you, the, dance? No, the dance? No, no. What, <laughs> no I, say, I, I feel like an idiot right now. Um, no, what do you when you do the sound oh, God, effects? When bad. you put in this, when you put in the sound effects to the to the to the music, what what Kim and Penn did their fi- final uh, episode? Foley, 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 <laughs> Foley <challenge>. oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm done. <laughs> I mean, if you actually right, guys, see the two that's clips the together, show. it's perfect. <laughs> Michael's shutting down the show. <laughs> oh. oh, my gosh. There, there you go. Goes. Hey, hey, at least Only he can floss. floss. <laughs> he does not have to floss. <laughs> really good. Oh. That's the wrong word. I knew it. I knew it. Anyways. Yeah, so Joel and Garrett could add that to their um dragon bear noise. It's the same noise of throwing a toilet down the trash. <laughs> you should have you should have done the same video and just add the toilet, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then That's the toilet. True. <laughs> the toilet I'll get that tea for you right now. <laughs> with the pee in it. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Oh Moving on. <laughs> So since we have a special guest, mm. we need a special voiceover. Oh, oh yeah. Ooh. What, Ooh. what do we have now? I got some special voiceovers for you. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yep. oh. We know we got a half hour lead. I want the express pass. We're going for the express pass. We're getting first place this leg. Damn. Damn. Oh, we just killed ourselves. So let's go back. Oh my gosh. It's all right. <laughs> Ta-da. I feel like you make a smart decision. And it turns out to be what could ruin our whole race <laughs> all right we still have so much to do <laughs> come on keep your head up you can cry when we get to the pit stop i'll cry no more crying <laughs> I didn't still realize. confident but i'm definitely not cocky 
Nope. Still cocky. Still cocky. <laughs> Never <laughs> cocky. It's not cocky if you back it up. That's what confidence <laughs> is. <laughs> we go and go do it. Di- I, I didn't realize Diana was laughing in that scene. Well, you could cry when you get to the pit stop. She's like smirking, laughing. She's laughing. Oh my gosh, she loves they, that stuff. She no, she because she, they finished the challenge, so now she's laughing about it. She was actually being a great sport about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, she that's was. Why. She was uh she never seen me like that. So um uh, in a in a situation other than like me ca- like like caring for her or loving her, like that's that? when she see me cry. But she's never seen me cry in any other situation. Your uh, eyes look beautiful there. Hey, but this but the stream went down like perfect. That was like movie <laughs> level, you know, they put that the yeah, well, it hurt. He told me he was an actor before. I think that was his acting <laughs> skills in there. <laughs> if I was that good of an actor, I'd I'd be in a movie. So I'm just terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm um, going. We're still we're still in your memory card segment, right? Yeah. Because um, you know, I know before we talked about all stars and all that, and, mm-hmm. and yeah. Justin, I know I know in your podcast you mentioned pretty much the only team that you're scared of is Lewis and Michelle. Mm-hmm. Um, so Did that's I? uh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you mentioned on your podcast. Oh, I, I I have it in my memory card clips. All right, we have it in your memory. Oh card. yeah, go get that. Yeah, we got it right here. I'd love to see that. We're gonna put hey you there, on there. Right what do you say, there, world? <laughs> my name is Justin from the Green Team, and welcome back to the Racers Recap. Let's oh, talk geez. about the team that I am most afraid to see at in All Stars: Lewis and Michelle Cologne. Lewis and Michelle are the whole package. I don't think they have a single weakness. Can we talk about Lewis's dance skills? I thought I was good being on MTV's The Grind. And he's not even the best dancer on his own team. I really think Lewis and Michelle could beat me and Diana on The Amazing Race. And and talk about how good looking I am. And he's very, very good looking. (laughs) I wish my teeth looked that good. (laughs) That's right. Justin right there. We have evidence. evidence. Some pretty light. Lewis and Michelle are the team that he's most scared of. Man, did, did you have lip fillers back in the day? You I know. Look at that. Look, and they're looking good. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. I had my teeth done. I got my lips plumped. I was I was ready for that video. Damn. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> ready for all stars. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, all right, Justin, let me ask you this. Yeah. Three teams mm-hmm. that you don't like. All right, let me... Don't want to see. I don't care who I see because I'm not scared um, of anybody. No. I, I, three I, of your toughest comp- competitions... Uh, three tough teams that um, on All Stars, right? That I think will give you the most trouble. Not co-host on your show because you always talk about Team Extreme. You know, Joey and Tara, like, like, yes, they're great. Now teams, we we would smoke. We would we would smoke any any one of the teams on our show. Give me give me uh, three <laughs> give me three teams. Um, uh, I think Kim and Penn, uh, Colin and Christy, Tyler and Corey. Mm. Why not? Like why not Lewis and Michelle? What's our weakness, Justin? <laughs> Talk about us. Except musical instruments, I'll give you that. Mm-hmm. All right. I didn't know the difference between a Gibson and an acoustic guitar. I grabbed a guitar and I'm like, "Is this a Is this an acoustic? No, it's a Gibson." That is one of the stupidest lines on Amazing Race history. But you know what? I was thinking. I was thinking out loud, and right when I said it, I realized what I said. But it's okay. Whatever. Hey, t- talk about us, Justin. Come on, lay it on me. What's our weakness? I'm scared. <laughs> when we also have, oh, let me drop this on you. Go ahead. What other team has 10, if you want to count 12, no, 10, 10 self driving legs, if you count the mega legs as two self driving leg experiences, then we have. T- we have 10 self-driving legs in our experience. And 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 think about what other teams have. Maybe two, maybe three max. You're selling yourself so right now. <laughs> self-driving, how important it is. Nothing trumps experience. And we did it 10 times. And we did it pretty good 10 times. Talk to me. How many legs did you win? Three. Not bad. Not bad. Four, seven. No, <laughs> no I'm, just, like, I'm just... I'm just saying. Like, if you... Your weakness. Well, other I was teams going didn't to... win that many legs. Of who? Ty, uh, uh, Colin, Kim and Colin, won Colin four. and Christy hold. Colin and Christy hold the record for most legs won in the history of the Amazing Race. Um, <laughs> we're second. Tyler and Corey a third. Um, Tyler and Corey, but but if he Tyler and Corey also did two seasons. Yeah, but Tyler and Corey. No, they did win a lot. I'm talking. I'm back. Tyler and Corey. <laughs> Tyler and Corey are a strong team, and uh, and uh, Kim and Pat. Right. Kim and Pat right. are, are the are the team that is most like us. How about two teams that? How about three teams that aren't winners? 
You really want me to? You really want me to just? Do you want me to just say you? So you I want to see where I'm at in your rankings, bro. No, Justin, I'm not scared of you. You should never. You should be never. Give me two more. Give me two more. Not uh, winners. They're not coming back. They're winners. <laughs> You're right. They're, they're not winners. They're, two two of those teams were winners, and they're, they're not coming back. So um, uh, there's there's really I I I couldn't I can't pick another team that I would be worried about. I genuinely those are the teams. That was the question. Okay, question. you're right, Eric. Eric and Jeremy. Um, Eric and Jeremy hold the record for best um, placement average in the history of the Amazing Race, and they didn't even win. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, er- Eric and Jeremy, I think would definitely. Um, Eric has Eric is the only other person who could. Well, not the only. I'm sorry. Eric is the person who could say he's the best racer to ever run the race, and nobody can argue with him. Because mm-hmm. what season was that again? He well, he finished in second. With the highest average ever, and then he got a different partner and won. Oh, that's right. It was like, he's a winner. All right, let's go. Yeah. To oh, he's season a winner. Twenty-eight and beyond. <laughs> <laughs> okay, season twenty-eight. Yeah, uh, and beyond. And, season twenty-eight and newer. Right. So no winners. Nobody from our show. Okay, so yes. that only leaves. They that have only to have leaves black hair, most likely Hispanic. That yeah, that only leaves you guys, uh, you guys, and Greg and John, right? <laughs> Greg and John are a very good team. Yeah, I look, Greg and John, I've never seen anybody with the the mentality that they have as far as like being able to talk to each other, never raising their voice, never getting upset, never feeling flustered. Um, Joel and Garrett are really happy go lucky, but they don't have like the skill set that Greg and John have yeah. uh, uh, to go on top of that attitude. Yeah. I think, like, I think because of your experience now that you guys would be a lot better racers, but uh, I also think that. The skill sets that you have match a lot of the skill sets that we have, except that I just think that I think that the thing that outweighs is I'm a better racer than you are. Whereas I, that's me personally. Look, like if you want my personal opinion, look, Justin, I, I see. Look, I'm not gonna lie. Look, I came to you for advice, but guess yes. what? I think the student has become. The master, <laughs> and I would, I would love, I would love for you to feel, feel what it's like to be six hours behind the team. I would love for you to race against them. That won't happen in today's race, Lewis. You just got lucky, man. Your season—they had the fifteen-minute cutoffs. You know, I would have been oh. killing everybody. <laughs> right. The only like, time that we were behind, we're five minutes behind sixth place. We were like five minutes. It was actually a penalty for us for those staggered starts <clears throat> for us. We we started off ten minutes later than we should have. There ain't no lag. Todd and Ashley, what's up? We don't no, have a single. In all honesty, Lewis and Michelle. <laughs> Uh, it, when you go back for all stars, uh, would you really want to see us at that at that starting line? Look, would you really want to see us at that starting line? Anything could happen on amazing. Would race. you really want to see us at that starting I don't line? Care, bro, bring it. I'd love to see just. Lewis loves and if we beat the best, yeah, what does that be... make us better? You're right. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. You're right. <laughs> I know. I've known Lewis for a long time. He would say, "Bring it." A I know. I love that. Percent. <laughs> and uh, and as much and as much as I joke around and I talk all this sh- the junk, like it, when we get invited back, my goal is not to win the race, and I'm not. And I know this sounds like, a, like just super conceited. My goal is to win every leg. That's Except my the last goal. leg. I'll take that one. My goal is to win every leg. <laughs> <laughs> it's not to win the end. I already know. So I'm I've not. got a quick question for you then. In in all the seasons after yours, yeah. Were there any challenges that you were like, "Oh shit, maybe not, maybe not this challenge. This challenge is not it." Oh, I, I, don't have, know. I, I definitely have my weaknesses. The attention to detail tasks and and anything with small finger dexterity is not my my thing. Like I'm bad with like un like untying knots and like things like really small intricate things. And attention to detail is not my thing. I I'm great at seeing the big picture. Diane is great at seeing the little picture. And that's why we make a great team. I could see the big things and the ways to get a, a, a minutes here and there. And then she can focus in and zoom on the little things. And as you saw with the gaucho task, all I had to do was just turn the thing over. And instead of turning it over, I took the whole thing apart again, redid it. And then, and then you know, still lost by six seconds, uh, by the way. Lost that, that leg by six seconds. 
Now, first or last? Well, <laughs> we, we, we were in last. We were in last place uh, when I left that task. We were the last place team, and we still passed every team and lost by six seconds. I don't know. I'll love to see some self-driving, Justin. You I do. Yeah, that. you're no right. Self-driving experience, man. You're right. But I did grow up in the Bronx. So a lot of driving going on in the city. If you can get from here to there, you, mm, there's a lot of uh, back alleys and side weight. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I have no problems driving. But you're right. I don't have that experience on the race. So that is one thing that you have that I don't. Ooh, a little compliment there. I like that. Who's <laughs> winning it all this season, Justin? God. Uh, Greg and John should win it all, but, um, I mean, they, they have, they have the momentum. They have everything going for them right now. Yeah. Other teams are scared of them. Um, they should win it all Greg and John, but I'm hoping that it's Robin Corey. I really are. Cause I, I, they are easily America's favorite team. Yeah, I agree. Oh yeah. They're just oh, yeah. so likable and they're not fake at all. It's a dad and his kid. It's like, they're everything that, that. A season 20 i'm not even gonna mention the name they're everything that the the season 24 winners should have been uh <laughs> do you hate that team <laughs> i can't stand david connor <laughs> i'm trying to think back on the team it's david <laughs> connor david connor you know mr it, Limp, limpy long stocking that season was that the season where there was no roadblock equality equality there there was a lot of mm, there was a lot of mm, moments uh, uh there uh boogie down bronx that's right Last stop of the D train, about 20 blocks from where hip hop was created, the building where hip hop was created. Wait, um, so is Diana all in to do all stars if they call back course. again? Yeah, she, I well, mean, they have two kids now. Yeah, so it makes a huge difference. It does make a huge difference, but uh, there's a zero percent chance that she will, will stop me from going onto the race. So she would go on, she knows how much it means to me. It definitely means much. She's happy if she never goes on the race again. She's like, but what if we go in and then we're like Art and JJ? And I'm like, if we're like Art and JJ, then I want to be like Art and JJ. Put me out of my misery. You yeah. know, where they they were like racing against the, the team that has a better record than us, the, the team that won eight legs. Uh, yeah. You know why? Because the second best team on their season was Art and JJ. That's why they won eight <laughs> legs. <laughs> Stop it. Listen, I guess this is a question. I already know how you're going to answer this, but you see that question there? How would you feel to see see an international version with past winners from australia south I'd africa etc oh really i would i would definitely love that uh, i mean obviously i'd want to be a part of it but uh i would love to see like the world's best uh if they take the best teams from all around the world because there is a team from like uh they they call llama hammerats the million like whatever like the israeli or the hebrew one of those versions where they have the most dominant team to ever run any race in the history it was like mark and revlison they're supposed to like be the best team to ever run the race i'd want to race against them to Got show it. the world that they ain't shit that's the team that logan keeps on <laughs> that's the team that keeps on saying uh logan keeps on saying that they're better than you right uh he, yeah i mean they have they finished in first place they have a one like point four average or something like that it's ridiculous but again if if we didn't have that nine in leg like one like we would have the best average in the history of the race so first leg to warm up, up. Too. I got nothing else for Justin, I mean, guys. You guys, there's so many different factors to compare that to because you can't compare one season to another because they change a lot. No, of, of course, but I mean, we have to compare somehow. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's the fun of everything. It's like who would win? I mean, obviously, my my confidence level is like I, I could beat anybody, but I, I can also see it pulled back from a perspective of like they they seem to be incredible racers, mm -hmm. but I don't know how how strong the competition was. I know how strong the competition was on our season. If we weren't on our season, that could have been the most competitive season ever between yeah. all of the teams that were there. But because we were on there, it just didn't seem that way. It was like, oh, you have to, like such a weak cast. I'm like, I would put the second, third, fourth place teams up against any winners. Mm -hmm. uh, and and like Kelsey and Joey, they set the record for most second places, which means they would have set the record for most wins if we weren't there. And that's yeah. kind of how I feel like they, they, they were an awesome team who pushed us to the limit. But it's like, you know, if we raced against them 10 times, I feel like, you know, we'd beat right. them nine out of 10 times. Well, but, it's, we're over an hour already. Justin, thank you so yeah. much. Your humility time, shines like <laughs> and we really appreciate you. I, I, I kind of want to give you like the godfather 
of the Amazing Race. Has anybody ever called you that? The Godfather. Listen, because I call him old. <laughs> no, because listen, hey, one of the my my reality TV like icon, Boston Rob. Come on, how could you not love Boston Rob? He's yeah. the Rob father. So I wouldn't mind being the godfather of the amazing I race. See, yeah. I, I got my hat. Oh, He's got his hat. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm going to try to get that off the ground. We'll see. We'll see. Um, <laughs> Justin, thanks. Thanks, man. Thanks no. for recapping with us. Thanks for joining us. I'm, we're definitely not the godfathers here. We're, we're, I'm just the fun uncle. The fun the uncle fun that just the he fun, is. He's the, the fun uncle. The, the yeah, TNTO. Just here having a good time. Nah, you audience. guys are awesome. You guys are awesome people. You guys are very good racers. You guys will be on the next uh, uh, All Stars. So the odds are you get to lose to me too. So you, you know can, what, uh... Justin? If they put my sister in me, then we'll crush you. All right. So just don't. Worry oh, about I'm sorry. That. I'm sorry. Oh, you weigh like sixteen plays pounds. The piano. You weigh like sixteen pounds. I play piano, I'm not, man. That's I'm true. not. I'm not worried about you. Like. You know, I what feel you... like Mike would be like Greg and John. I see them and I see my brother. The way they yeah, act, the how true. calm they are, they're the way they race would be Mike. I it's, I don't know Mike enough. All I know yeah. is he's always smiling and happy. So I just can't <laughs> see that. I don't. I've never seen that intense Mike. I don't know what Mike's like under pressure. I don't know what he's like mm -hmm. when he's like going going ham. You know what I mean? He's an awesome producer, fun <laughs> guy. But when you, you look at him, he's always smiling. He's very pleasant. You get like this happy thing going. I but appreciate that, man. Do you have that intensity when you need Ooh. it? That's right. And okay, have that's... you ever felt <laughs> adrenaline? Because adrenaline changes everything. Mm, definitely. You have to shout out to <laughs> our audience watching right now. I saw we at one point we had some like 40, 42 viewers. Bam. That's that's our record. That's our record. We've never we've never had an that's audience. A, that's that only long. because you're not consistent. It's not has nothing it's, to do yeah. with the quality of your show. Your, the quality of your fine. show is 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 way up Thank there. You. Right? And, and gonna... we do this. We do this for the fans. Like, like, honestly, I, I was part of the best show in the history of television, and I love doing this just to make something great for the fans to entertain our fans. And we love you guys. Thank you so much for being on with us. Yes. Anybody else got something to say? We got. We're gonna leave you guys actually with one more memory card. Here we go. <laughs> just we're blessed to be here. We can't lose sight of that. Dun, dun. That's what people who are losing say. Dun. Okay. I hate losing, but what's a good comeback story, you know? Like without, you know, trailing. Dum, 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 dum. Underdogs, baby. Ding, ding, ding. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny to watch <laughs> Todd with a lady voice. We didn't talk about Todd and Ashley. Todd and Ashley, you guys are a great couple. We're going to miss you guys. You guys are amazing. And we are, we are out. We love y'all. Adios. Goodbye. Later, guys. Later. Just kidding. <laughs> 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 <laughs>